Hi, this is Jen and thanks for joining me. Today I'm playing around with some different gilding flakes and these are from Creative Expressions and they're actually called Aurora Flakes. They seem to have a little bit of a different consistency compared to um, the other gilding flakes that I have which are like the gold and the rose. Um, I do not have that many brands to compare to however, but these are almost like little tiny bits of foil um, they are a lot more flighty, I would say, or airborne than some of the um, other flakes that I have. Um, so they are super, super messy. So I'm going to show you some different ways to use these today and also some ways to try and contain them and clean them up. And the Aurora Flakes, I believe they're about 10 different color combinations. So the ones that I have are mostly like a silver uh, combination with a color or a gold with a color or just um, two solid colors. And this green and gold one is probably one of my favorites, but they have some really pretty colors. So to apply these, it's basically the same for any adhesive that you use. So as you can see, I have some adhesive down that's tacky and I'm going to take the Aurora Flakes and spread them out and then burnish them with my fingers. So basically I am just pushing those flakes onto that adhesive so that it sticks. And the next step would be to go ahead and remove the excess flakes. So I'm using a stencil brush here, but you can use a nail file or something that has a little bit of bristle or roughness to it. And so basically on this part, you're just going ahead and removing all of the flakes that are attached to other flakes that are not actually attached to the adhesive. And the bristles of the stencil brush are just grabbing all of those little clumps that are not actually adhered and removing that. So this is a really easy way to get a lot of those excess flakes off of your um, project piece. Um, I am using a piece of white paper to capture all of my flakes. It's, I believe it's about 11 by 17 in size. Um, I prefer to use that um, rather than plastic and I'll tell you why in just a minute. Um, the One of the last steps is to take either a soft brush I'm using a ink lending brush from scrapbook.com. Wipe off more of those flakes. And then the last step is to take a, a fabric softener or a dryer sheet and run it over your project. This is great. It captures a lot of that excess um, that is left over after you've completed the previous steps. And just a great final step for removing the excess. It's also good for removing some of the material from your hands, but not all. Um, so here are the gilding flakes that I have that are the copper and the gold. These are, um, I cannot remember the name of the brand. I think it's blue indigo or something like that. Um, so here's just kind of a comparison between these and the Aurora flakes. Um, these flakes are also right here a lot softer than the Aurora flakes are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the methods you can use to attach or adhere the flakes to your project. And that was a video bomb from my dog. Um, so the first material you can use is the same material you use to adhere foil, and that is the deco foil. I'm using the deco foil duo. Um, so you're just going to apply that however you're going to apply that, whether it's through a stencil or straight on your project and let that dry till it's clear and then you add the flakes and then you follow the steps that I mentioned previously um, from applying to burnishing to wiping off and that will give you a really pretty project. Um, I love the uh, Decofoil um, gel. It's a, a great method to apply these flakes. Um, the next method is to use sticky embossing powder. Um, this is my least favorite method. It happened to work for me this time, but it is a little temperamental. It's basically the same as applying embossing powder. So you want to go ahead and use your Versamark ink or your embossing ink and then spread the powder. So spread the sticky powder on your project. Um, the thing about the sticky powder is you have to heat it um, the perfect temperature for it to actually stick. Um, so like I said, I I did this several times with several different stamps and this is the only one that turned out for me. 
So I recommend making sure your heat gun is um, heated up a little bit before you take it to the paper and just try and evenly distribute that heat across your image. And if you heated it to the right temperature, it should remain tacky enough to let you go ahead and spread those flakes onto the, the sticky powder. And then it's just following the same steps with applying and burnishing. Um, this one had a really a lot of detail in it, so um, I was really pleasantly surprised that I was able to get this to come out with that um, sticky powder because the stamp does have a lot of little lines and um, detail in it. So this is the a second material that you can use to um, adhere these flakes. So the next one is Eileen's Tack It Over and Over. This is actually, it says it's a temporary fabric adhesive, but it is great for using with flakes because it remains tacky um, forever, I think. Um, so I've just gone ahead and put some of the ad adhesive on the end of a pencil eraser and then also on the end of a paintbrush and just made little dots and then added the flakes after that. Um, this adhesive is also great to re-tack your jewel picker. Um, the next method, I do several different ways to do this, and that is the uh, double-sided adhesive. These happen to be the strips. I didn't have a full sheet of adhesive. Um, so all I'm doing is taking the strips and adding those to a card panel, and then I'll go ahead and remove them so that you have the sticky side. I'm going to be using a stencil for this. The stencil I use is not the best stencil to use. I'm using one of those stencils that's kind of a thin plastic and it was an adhesive stencil but I did this project and I ended up not being able to use the stencil again because there were too many flakes stuck all over it so you just need to make sure that you're using one of the hard plastic stencils or you know what we normally would use for stencils and not an adhesive stencil um, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay my stencil down and apply the flakes through the stencil and then I'm going to take my brush and wipe all of those off and then I peel the stencil off and as you can see it is sticking a lot because the stencil is plastic it is an adhesive plastic and so it did not work so well but it gave me a great image um, and then you're gonna have all of that sticky area that was not filled in and I kind of went a little overboard on the glitter but I'm using glitter on this but you can use a another color of a flake and I wanted to mention that I use paper to capture all of my excess and not plastic because these flakes in particular are very staticky and attached to plastic and it's very difficult to get them off. And so for me, the paper was a lot easier to just slide off and into the container rather than using a plastic container because they will stick to the plastic and are difficult to get off. Um, the next method I'm going to use, and I'm still using the double-sided adhesive, this time I'm using it with a die. So before I peeled off this, the sticky backing, I went ahead and ran that die through my die cut machine and then peeled the backing off and then adhered the gilding flakes. Um, on this method, I'm going to go ahead and just take a piece of paper and adhere the flakes or the adhesive to the paper and then adhere the flakes and then I'll put the die on top of that but I do put it in between a piece of paper so that I don't have all of those flakes stuck on my cutting pads in my machine so um, then I just take the die and set that on top of the gilding flakes and cut it out so you can do it either way um, just make sure that if you have the gilding flakes on your um, project already that you use a thin piece of paper to go ahead and run that before you run it through your die cut machine or you're going to have little flakes stuck to your cutting pads especially if there are a lot of scratches on them like mine. Um, so I've gone ahead and just created a card using one of the butterflies is vellum and then the other two are using just paper backing. So the next method is Cosmic Shimmer Flake and Glitter Glue. This stuff is made for these flakes. This is a great um, way to adhere flakes. Um, I have a sentiment stamp that is basically words and I'm using this stamp to just to show how well this works. So I just put a little bit of the glue on a piece of a plastic and then I'm taking a makeup sponge and just bouncing that onto my stamp. 
I'm gonna do this uh, several times just to make sure I have a good impression of the image. And then I'm gonna take my gilding flakes and go ahead and go over it. As you can see, it, it grabbed that detail. It was excellent. This glue is actually by Crave Expressions, which is the same company that made the Aurora Flakes. So the next method is to use um, adhesive spray. I'm using the Elmer's Craft Bond Spray Adhesive. You can use temporary adhesive as well. Um, I did try that, but I'm just using a piece of paper from a paper pad, and I sprayed that down with the spray adhesive and waited, I don't know, under a minute, a minute or so um, to make sure it was tacky and then spread the flakes. So this is a, another great method to use for um, adhering the gilding flakes. And then the next thing you can try is the Distress Resist Spray. It does stay a little bit sticky, but you have to work fairly quickly to get it to adhere. Um, I just sp tried spraying and then I just tried uh, sprinkling a little bit of it. It did not um, grab a lot. So um, this was something that I thought I would go ahead and try, but it did not work the best. Um, so I did get a little bit of the flake to adhere. Um, but not a whole lot. You can also use a craft stick. So all I did was spread the craft stick onto a piece of paper and then added the flakes and that was pretty much it. And then the last method is to use it with your alcohol inks, just as if you would use it with foil, this would be the same thing. Um, letting your alcohol inks dry until they're tacky and usually there's those little grooves and kind of like rivers in your project where they stick really well and so that is another way that you can use these gilding flakes. So all in all you can pretty much use any adhesive that's going to remain tacky or sticky uh, long enough to allow you to adhere the flakes and although these were uh, quite a bit messy, um, a little worse than glitter, I would say. It was really fun and I love the end result. So I'm not gonna be using these every day, but I will pull them out for projects. Um, it was super fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed and you'd like to see more, please uh, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you. Um, thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. Um, take care and I'll catch you later.